Hey, Traylon. Um, how are you feeling after that performance against Georgia, physically, mentally, and um, what are you guys seeing from the Mississippi State defense? Um, I mean, uh, as a team, we, we, we felt, you know, obviously we, we lost the game, but like, we just felt like we've, we've gotten better at a lot of places and, you know, just uh, keep working as hard as we can to get better week by week. You know, just go out this this Saturday and just approach Mississippi State like we did against Georgia and just compete. Scotty. Hey, Traylon, I know you had a career day Saturday. I wanted to ask you kind of about your yards after catch ability. Uh, kind of what goes into that and why do you think you've been able to have quite a bit of success there uh, to this point in your career? Um, I mean, I just – it, it really comes from the team, like the scout team and just in practice, just having those people push me every day. And I just felt like, like when I catch the ball, just to get the offense as far, well, get the team as far as I can to, to, at the best of my ability, you know? So just work hard at it every day at practice. Nate? Traylon, what made you effective against Georgia's press coverage and what kind of coverage do you, you expect out of Mississippi State as far as their aggressiveness on defense? Um, I mean, Georgia, they played a lot of zone and man, and I just, I just, as a team, we worked that during the week, and I just felt like, you know, just attack it the way that Coach Browse had, you know, game planned and everything worked out to the best of my ability and to the other receivers. And I just feel like against um, – Mississippi State, you know, we really, we've been working on it and, you know, we can't really put out everything what we're going to do, but like, we're just going to take the week. Bob. Uh, Traylon, you have, you know, Coach Pittman talked about the receivers need to get more separation. You obviously found some separation with seven catches and a lot of yards. With the way the defensive backs in the SEC, they grab and clutch a lot, grab you, push you, whatever. Very physical. Um, how, how do you deal with that? What, what's the key to having success against that kind of physical play by DBs? Um, well, it starts with in practice with our um, with our defense because you know we have the same physical defense as the, as the other SEC teams. So you know we just go out there and work every day, and you know they compete with us. And obviously, um, our position coach, Coach Step, you know he's physical with us with bags and everything. You know we just work at that every day. Otis. Yeah, Trey, hey, talk about that play. That I think it was 49 yards, the one you scored on. You caught the ball, uh, did a good job staying in bounds. You were actually closer to the boundary when I watched rewatched the game. Uh, talk about just that, describe that play. Uh, well, as you can see, you know, Coach Browse had dialed it up. I mean, it was a good play. You know, I just, we, we worked that play over and over every week during practice and I just felt like it was just that time for to use it and I just did it to my best of my ability. And I just saw the sideline like out of my peripheral and I, you know, I just stayed in bounds and scored. All right, let me know if you've got more questions in the chat. Nikki. Yeah, I asked uh, Brady about this before, but um, your communication, uh, just how do you feel like you guys can improve that this week? Um, with the communication, you know, it just comes from us just getting more, getting comfortable with, with each other, you know, and just communicating if we get to play or like just say for instance, Timo, Tyson Morris, he gets to play and I don't get it, him communicating to me and me communicating it all the way across, you know, it's just something to work on. Scotty. Hey, Traylon, kind of a two-parter here, going back to my first question, just how, how does a player become better at picking up yards after catch? And then secondly, just what do you expect from, from Trey Knox this week? I think he had just one grab on Saturday. Um, well, I mean, just the, the yards after catch, that just comes from just working at it in practice or just on, on your own time, you know, just being physical, you know, catching the ball, getting vertical every day, and it comes with that. And then from Trey, you know, every everybody, you know, a lot of people, we didn't have a lot of receivers with a lot of catches or receiving yards, but you just can't you can't lean on that. You just got to approach every week. You know, it's going to be some weeks where I don't even touch the ball, and I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't care as long as we win. You know, I'm gonna do my job. I'm block just to help it, just to help the team win. So that's just some on that. Nate. 
Traylon, just what do you feel that the, the offense needs to do to stay on the field more than 24 minutes against this team? Um, well, I mean, we just need to we just need to stay together and just keep up our tempo, you know, and just convert when we need to convert when the defense has a, a big three and out, and you know, just just move the ball as fast as we can. Uh, Yeah, Simeon Blair's a, a young guy. I guess uh, Sam put him on scholarship and he got to start uh, the other day. Um, I don't know if you guys were matched up much in practice, but what, what, do, you, what do you think of Simeon as a, as a DB and how glad are you to see a guy, you know, get on scholarship and then get to start like that as a, as a sophomore, I guess? Um, well, I mean, Simeon, he, he, comes to, he comes to practice every day, no matter what, if it's weights, live meetings, and he's a t- and everything and you know he works hard and he deserved to be put on scholarship and to be starting because I mean you can tell from Saturday he's a he's a baller so I'm just I'm just glad that coach Pittman did that and the team is happy for him. Well, what do you think makes him a good DB? Um, just his worth it uh, you know so you know all you have to do is just come to work every day you know you get better at everything you know so. Tyler. Yeah, obviously everything's, you know, different this year with the fans and whatnot, but just now that you're the guy with some experience, how do you, how do you prep the freshmen and the younger guys for their first SEC road game? Um, you know, just come to, come out every Sunday when we when we come and take the, you know, the COVID test, and then that Monday when we come and uh, practice, you know, just practice, practice as best as you can, like to the best of your ability. And, you know, everything else will come as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do. Just do your job. Last one, Ellis. Hey, Troy, let's talk about Felipe Franks' performance Saturday. He, you know, that was your first game, live game with him. Talk about his performance and the, what you think he did well. Um, I mean, Felipe, he's, a, he's, he's already played in the SEC before, and, you know, he's, he's built for this type of play. And I just think, you know, he had a great game. You know, we obviously, as a unit, we have stuff to get better at. So we're just going to come out this week and just approach it to the best of our ability. And, you know, it's, it's up in a win for that. All right, Bob, you got the last one. Thanks. It's actually a two-parter, if that's okay. Um, one, I know uh, we hit you up in the preseason. You probably hear all the time, when, when are you going to score a touchdown? You call these passes, when are you going to score a touchdown? You, you, did, you got it knocked out pretty quick. How did that feel? And then uh, kind of follow up, Felipe and, and Rakeem as team captains and key guys, how have they been this week? Especially Rakeem had a, didn't have much running room. What do you see from those guys, and what was your feeling on on getting that touchdown out of the way? Um, I mean, you know, like I said last time, you know, I'm not really worried about the touchdown. When I, I mean, when I scored, you know, it was a big hooray, you know, but I was just – I was ready to get back to my teammates and, you know, get back on offense and start working. And uh, you just – Rakeem and uh, Felipe, we've been – they've been pushing us the whole week, you know, just to get better at things that we did wrong during the week of last week and during the game. So, you know, it's good to have them as team captains, you know, and, and big leaders. Thanks, Trina. You're good.